morning. It's early on the lake. There's no yard men around because it's Saturday. No air conditioners are on. So it's right now it's nice and quiet. And I wanted to show you how we finished the top. And I got it all cleaned up from the gel pen. And it's dried, all the little dots are dried. So now I'm ready to start the inside. Which means <laughs> this is the most awkward thing I have ever done. And I've got these little uh, things that I've decided to put underneath this to keep it from getting scratched and to keep it from making noise. Now, if we can just get this lid to stay open while I work and <laughs> we'll see how this works. I'm gonna see how I can get my lights around. I'm gonna say goodbye for just one minute because I gotta get my camera set up. But I wanted to show you how it looks. It looks really good. And I hope you're up this morning. Well, I guess it doesn't matter whether you're up or not, does it? Okay. <laughs> now we're going to start gritting the under of the toilet seat. And I don't have my design in front of me. I'm going to try to remember. <laughs> I just know it's too pointy things that come down almost to the middle and run this way Kimmy I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to do all of this and film I've got to go find the <laughs> picture. Uh, let's see. I know it does this. This is the little triangly design that comes down like this. And then this one that goes over here and the points meet there. Then I have to do the stripes. Um, I heard somebody's air conditioner come on. <laughs> Down here in the south, we have central air conditioning on, on the outsides of our houses are these humongous compressor things that make a lot of noise when they come on and unfortunately for me my studio windows are right outside those compressors I honestly think this is not exactly like the design I think it was a little more off but so Kimmy I'm gonna pause and maybe grid most of this and then come back well I've got it all gridded and I'm, I was using this really cool see-through ruler that's really flexible because this lid is not flat it curves and I started making my stripes really pretty narrow and I found out on this ruler if I line up this line here on the previous line, 
then I can just follow this side of my ruler and I've got my perfectly spaced stripe. Stately stripes. He named them, remember? And it's making these perfect, perfect. This is so cool. You know, every once in a while, something shows up that I have never done before, but this makes it so easy. And had I wanted to make them wider, I could have lined this ruler up. And uh, it's just nice that it's clear and I can see where uh, there, where the line is underneath the line up, the line on the ruler with the line underneath. Does that make sense? And I think I'll get one more. Where's the line? There it is. Okay. And all I have to do is continue that little line all the way to the end over there. And then I've got to do it up here. All I gotta do is line that up there and just go straight up. I'm having to work around the knobs and the thingies there and all of that. So I've got it gridded. And I'm ready to start painting. This part is going to be solid black. These two parts, these little arrow thingies, are going to be silver with the dots, with the dignified dots. I think I said dignity at one point in one of the videos. <laughs> I don't know. And I also think I said I had three daughters before I had cinnamon. I only had two daughters before I had cinnamon. Cinnamon made the third daughter. There, I fixed that. I have to fix something every time I come back on camera. Because I can't undo these things, you know? Um, or at least I don't know how. I guess I could blip them out, but that wouldn't have made any sense. So, okay, I'm going to uh, get my paints ready, and then we'll start the painting process.